Welcome to Scorched Earth and a general mid-month reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the month, no, for the last two weeks of March. I hope you will. We're using the uh, Llewellyn Tarot for you today. Uh, so if you haven't seen one of these videos before, for the mid-months, I structure them slightly differently to the longer main monthly read. <coughs> Um, I will pull three cards for your current energy and then I will pull another three cards to see what the energy that you are in at the moment is trying to teach you. I see everything as a lesson and I find that that really helps me navigate what can be, you know, at occasions, uh, navigate, uh, navigating difficult energy, right? challenging experiences. If you can detach from it just a little bit and step back and go, well, what am I supposed to learn from this here? It's often easier to just go, to the lesson and be like, right, here we are. And then I'll pull three cards of advice. If that hasn't made any sense, just bear with me because I'm sure it will by the end of the reading. So, Scorpio, my my dark lovelies. Let's have a look and see. Give me three cards from Scorpio's current energy, please. Okay. So the first card that we have is the Four of Swords. I like that. We have the Queen of Pentacles to follow. And then one more card for Scorpio, please. Thank you. We have the Three of Cups. This is really interesting. <clears throat> it's quite... I was going to say gentle, but gentle is not really the word that I'm after here. There is a withdrawn aspect to your energy for sure, right? No doubt about that whatsoever. I could feel that in the meditation. But it's for a purpose. You know, you're not withdrawing for the sake of it. We've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck and it feels like you're regrouping actually Scorpio that's what it is it's like if you have retreated from something then it's been a tactical retreat because we're kind of pulling everything in looking at all you know whatever the situation is that you're in at the moment looking at all the evidence and going right how do I move forwards from here but you're doing it with a view to your own welfare which I like about this you know we've got the queen of cups underneath this chariot here so your emotional state is quite important to you at the moment so we have the four of, of swords and that is absolutely pointing towards this kind of withdrawn state that you're in at the moment and, and you know that might not be obvious to everyone we all know scorpio is perfectly capable of of withdrawing in a public place and have no one fucking notice because you know that you're that good at what you do but this here is a card of of nurturing it's a card of self-care it's a card of looking after yourself and it feels like you've beaten a tactical retreat from something in order to make sure that you are properly taking care of yourself it sort of suggests to me that there have been points where you haven't certainly of late but I feel something really quite reflective and circumspect about it all at the moment it doesn't feel like it's happened off the back of a you know a really challenging event that's kind of pushed you to your limit and now you're like well fuck this I'm reverse it's more like hmm i'm gonna pull back and have a look a little look at this have a little feel about this see what i feel about it because i don't feel like whatever's going on at the moment is really serving my needs or, or helping me reach my goals and goals are in your mind here but there's a lot of determination building underneath that. It seems like you're kind of sifting quite well and getting to a point where you, you, you're starting to understand what your route is forwards. Now, the final card that you've got in your current energy is the Three of Cups. And that for me is a card of emotional support networks. You know, it could be that you've withdrawn to really just your closest and most trusted allies. And we know for Scorpios that they are few and far between however social you may appear there are very few people that you actually trust but I feel you sitting with that at the moment yeah Let me pull another card for that three of cups tell me about the three of cups please four of swords oh we have judgment and we have the queen of wands Queen of Wands is Aries energy, but it's it's the it's feminine expression of the fire, right? So it, it can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it can be a man or a woman. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but it feels to me that actually perhaps you have withdrawn from quite a lot, including perhaps your most trusted people. 
because we've got this judgment card here and it feels like maybe maybe you're mulling over your trusted allies opinions on things because it doesn't feel like it's quite hitting the mark there's, there's more to be gleaned from this situation and it's to be gleaned stepping back from it like slightly alone it may well involve a fire sign male or female it doesn't matter but if not it's the queen of wands is all about action the whole one suit is about action and it's like getting ready to make your moves you know in the uh, in the wild unknown the the one suit well the the one hierarchy are snakes and the king of wands is a cobra and there's something quite cobra like about what i'm feeling here for you scorpio i don't think that you know you're stalking prey or anything like that but you know the, the there's something very hypnotic about a cobra and it gets up on its end like that and it's just like puffed out and kind of like look at me you know here i am <clears throat> it feels like you've got that stillness going on you know that flame in the void absolute focus <sighs> Because you're getting ready to make quite a big decision about something and take action on something. But the time isn't quite right yet and you, it, it feels like you're making sure you have all of the information before you move. Let's have a look and see what this energy is about. What's the lesson in this energy for Scorpio, please? Oh, we have the Two of Cups. That's interesting. have the Empress and we have the Knight of Cups. We've got the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Judgment card and the Lovers behind it. Like this feels remote, it actually feels like it's relationship based here and that might be romantic but it doesn't have to be. Neither the Two of Cups nor the Lovers are necessarily about romantic relationships or sexual relationships, right? It's one aspect of it but it's not the only aspect of it. For me, the lovers is a card of a choice, but choosing to make choices that affect your life. And that's absolutely the, the feeling that I have for you at the moment, particularly when it's combined with the judgment card, which is already out on the table. Big changes of foot that you are instituting and it feels like you are getting ready to make that, but you want to make sure that you're making the right decision because <clears throat> Because I think things the way that they have been have been a bit too hard and this is why you have withdrawn. Now with this Two of Cups, the Empress and the Knight of Cups here. The Two of Cups for me talks about intimacy on whatever level that occurs. So that can be with a partner with a significant other, but it can also be your wider relationships. It can just be about the way that you show up in your interpersonal relationships. You know, maybe you've decided it's just a little bit restrictive to be so closed down and guarded all the time and only have two people that are your most trusted allies on the entire planet. You know, the people that you would ring if you had to get rid of a body, something like that, or, or the person that somebody would call you being the person that somebody would call if they needed to get rid of a body, you know, that kind of thing. You've got so much depth and so much love to give and so terrified of it too because you feel it so very deeply. The capacity for damage for you is huge and it feels like you are stuck still at the moment, you know. Trying not to spook yourself or anyone else. But you're getting ready. Or what? And it is what it is. It's. Hello? It's what this energy is trying to prepare you for, where you are at at the moment. It feels like. I don't want to use the word taking a leap because I don't think that that's how Scorpios operate particularly. Everything is calculated risk, so there's no kind of leaping off into the void for Scorpio. You want to know exactly where you're landing and the trajectory that you're heading on and, you know, 
all the variables need to be calculated and it seems like you're in a calculating variables kind of frame of mind at the moment but it is with a view to an increased level of intimacy and bringing something new into the world now the, the the empress is all about fertility and abundance it could be for some of you you're actually just thinking about starting a starting a family and you're just holding up just a second to make sure that this is the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with and raise children with you know it's a pretty big deal at the end of the day but it feels like a softening in you Scorpio is softening in the way that you are approaching perhaps one person perhaps a number of people but it's indicative of a, a shift in the way that you are relating to the world you know the Empress is also the archetypal mother and, and like Scorpios have mother issues right? it just it comes with the territory quite often maybe it is that you've been working through that maybe you have repaired a relationship with your mother but this Knight of Cups is you going out into the world with an open heart which is cool not something that i'd ever, ever expected to see in my lifetime to be honest and it still may be quite you know narrow in focus i'm not necessarily saying you're going to be full of agape and just you know loving your fellow man no matter what but there's something opening up here and it feels like it's a good thing for you, Scorpio. Let's get some cards of advice. Get some cards of advice for Scorpio, please. We have the Sun. It's a card of Leo in the Major Arcana. We have Justice. Good Lord. And we have the Star. Three Major Arcana as your... Uh, four as your advice cards and then the hermit at the bottom of the deck right so Scorpios don't need to be told that they need to go within this is something that you do quite quite readily anyway it, it's never far below the surface for you but it's asking you to really work on your internal stability right we've got this two of pentacles here and, and we've got this you know maelstrom behind this character here who is balancing you know sometimes Scorpio you don't have to calculate all of the variables. Sometimes you don't have to calculate the exact trajectory that you are going to follow. Sometimes you don't need to know exactly where you're going to land. Sometimes you just need to open up to the experience. And, and that feels like what's going on here. Like It feels like there's, there's a little bit within you that is, is kind of terrified about what might happen when you take this step. And that's why you're overthinking the shit out of it, right? Because it does feel like you're doing that. <sighs> Woosa, right? Just just let it out. Relax. This is how people grow. This is how people learn. And sometimes things hurt and sometimes they don't. And do you know what? Like you can survive all of it because you're pretty much bomb proof. I heard you can put a scorpion. You can freeze it into a block of ice and then like thaw it out with a, with a blowtorch. And the scorpion will just like, okay, cool, and just scuttle off. Like, incredible creatures. You are an incredible creature. The sun. Justice. The star. The sun and the star feel like they're bringing kind of complementary messages here. Right? And this is, this is big, Scorpio, so like, don't misunderstand the level of what is being asked of you here but then ultimately the rewards that come from it. This is the card of Leo. This is the card of Aquarius, actually, interestingly, exact opposites on the Zodiac. But the Sun card is all about joy. It's about fully opening up to this, the experience of joy, but it, it's also about vulnerability, right? It's, it's about being open to everything. It's not hiding any part of yourself because it's also the consciousness, right? It's, it's letting this out. It's letting your consciousness experience everything. And the star card is also about vulnerability, but it's about hope, right? And for you, Scorpio, I think often allowing yourself to hope is is the biggest thing, right? That's, that's usually the point at which you slam down all the shutters you're like well caught myself hoping for something there that's not okay i have to deal with exactly what's here and all the variables that i've calculated you know there's a gentler 
more accepting energy that is coming off these cards here. And right in the center, there is justice. Now, that is the card of karma, yes, but it's a card of balance. It's a card of justice being brought to a situation, right? It's asking you to make sure that you behave correctly at all times. But it's also saying that, that it is possible for you, right, to really feel a sense of emotional justice in this world. And for you, emotional justice is opening up and not getting trampled on or opening up and being accepting of the possibility that you may get hurt but what you experience in the meantime will help you grow as a person you know it's kind of it's it's really big energy scorpio it feels like these next two weeks are going to be a bit of a turning point for you and i like it very very much right so i'm going to leave it there that's what i have for you um Know that I love you all very, very much and I will see you soon.